Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is for mid-November. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we're going to clarify and get you some advice. If you are returning, welcome back. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. If you are new, welcome. If you enjoy the messages, I do hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that like button and also the notification bell. You know the drill if you've been watching tarot. Now, if you would like a personal reading, I am available for those as well. The information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, my loves, let's see what's going on with you. You can take this out about 30 days, but it's mid-November. Whenever you reach it, it's meant to be seen for you. So your overall energy, well, there you are in reverse. Great. I think you're finally coming out of your shell. If some of you have felt like you've been held back a little, I keep seeing like a pillow and suffocate. And I don't mean that to come across as what it sounds like. It's like feeling a little bit suffocated, like you'd been withdrawn for too long of a period of time. So some of you are just busting out and deciding that this is the time that you're ready to get going again doesn't have to be for all of you, but there's definitely a sense for the general Virgos that you have felt like there was a lot of time of reflection that needed to be done. So in the recent past, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So your big focus has been on watching something grow, the Two of Wands, but you weren't sure where it was going to go. And then the Sun, which is beautiful. So something's definitely brought some joy to your life. I think what you're, you're figuring out is that the weight is worth it. Because putting in the effort and having the patience to wait for something to grow, even if you don't know where it's going to go, uh, in this case, it paid off. So I feel like there's a lot of joy. Whatever it is for you in your life, like place it in air, any, if I can talk, it, place it on any area of your life. Because this doesn't have to necessarily just be work, but it could be for sure. For a lot of you, it could be that you were growing your money and even though you didn't know, I don't want to keep repeating it, what was going to happen. You stuck with it, which is admirable. You stuck with it and now it's paying off and I see a lot of joy coming from that. Yeah. And then your current energy is celebration. So this time of year is going to be probably a lot more lighthearted, a lot of joy, especially this period that we're focused on. So I see you getting out more enjoying your friends more, celebrating the holidays. If you celebrate these holidays that we celebrate here where I am in the States, whatever it is for you, there just seems to be a lot of joy and excitement around your friends. I love this because the Seven of Cups in reverse and then we have, yeah, the Ten of Swords, something has finally resolved itself. You've healed something, you've worked hard on something, there's no more confusion, there's no more feeling uncomfortable or betrayed the sun is here in the recent past in the ten of swords beyond done you finished and closed something out so congratulations because that can be hard to do when you're in the seven of cups energy in the upright being confused and unsure of things especially around your emotions frustrating now i feel like you're celebrating because you're finally through whatever it was that you were dealing with now in the near future we have the page of swords with the Page of Cups. Okay, you could have been dealing with somebody before, but you finally closed the door on someone who seemed to be pulled back or a little bit emotionally immature. Maybe someone who didn't pay enough attention. I think that's what you're closing out of your life and you're realizing that you learned something very valuable from someone of a younger energy. And now the Queen of Wands is coming out after this. So it doesn't matter what gender you are. Just the message is straight up, somebody is just not involved anymore. Maybe you're not wanting to pay attention to what somebody else is doing. You don't have time for the BS is what I'm going to say, because you're more focused on this energy, which is you have confidence, you know your, your worth, and also you're going to be very attractive to people outside of yourself during this time. So just be aware of that. But I would be cautious because it could sometimes attract the wrong types of energy. So just... Be discerning and know that when you're feeling really joyful and your energy is really high, your vibe is really high, if you will, you can attract a lot of different types of energies. So you want to make sure that you've learned a lesson there and that you don't allow these people into your space. 
I just heard the word succubus. So people who grab on and try to steal your energy, just be aware of it because of this confidence that you're carrying now and what you've overcome and the joy that you're experiencing. All right, so the challenge is the 10 of cups. I think sometimes we all question whether we can find true happiness. For those of you that are at the age where you want to settle down, get married and have children, you may be questioning if that's going to happen for you. You may be asking yourself if it's even what you want. Now, if you're beyond that age, um, some of you may be hoping that you will connect again with some family and it's been a challenge for you and find joy and happiness and togetherness again. So if there's been complications in your family dynamic, I think the challenge right now is to, to see through that and to get to the other side of it. Let's see what else we get with it, the fool. Just take a chance. Whatever it is that you're feeling, um, if you're being a little stubborn, I'm going to call you out here for a second. I'd say take a chance because you never know how people are going to react. So if you want to resolve this, I do believe that you can. I just think your challenge is getting through it and believing that it can work itself out the way that you hope. So yes, spirit's like your challenge is to take that chance, to take that opportunity to fix things. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify and see what the hermit in reverse, what other messages do you have? I just keep wanting to say you're coming out of your shell. All right, so the four of cups in reverse. When it's in the upright here, you're looking right at the cup. So maybe you're just, as, as much as you've been within your own energy, you may just be saying, I don't necessarily want anything from anyone. I'm good on my own. Like I don't need other people. Um, great if they offer things, but I'm okay if they don't. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Listen, that to me, that feels like emotionally a little bit shut down. I don't always think that's a bad thing. Now, for some of you, that could be a difficult connection with a mother figure because there may be a disconnect. The Queen of Cups can also represent, for me, a mom. The Empress can too, but in this case, that's what I feel like. If somebody's not coming towards you, um, this is why the challenge around a family dynamic or situation is happening. Um, you may be a little bit shut down with that connection. Again, not for everybody to take what resonates. But if the challenge is opening back up, I think that you will if you can take a chance. And if you want to, listen, if you have someone, a female figure, a mother figure that is toxic and you don't want to be around it, then by all means, don't do that. I wanted to say that because just because they're your parent doesn't mean that you have to have a relationship. It depends on how far you into your far into your spiritual awakening you are to understand that. In other words, we as humans feel like we're supposed to have a relationship with them. But when you open up more spiritually, you realize that they're a part of your story here. So with that long explanation, if there's any guilt around this, I would say allow yourself to realize that it's okay to stay away from something for a period of time if it's not healthy for you. And then the chariot. Yeah, there's just no moving forward. So where you had been pulled back with this connection specifically, I just don't see any forward movement right now. And that's why there's a challenge. But at some point, I do think you're going to want to take a chance and see. If you don't, you don't. I totally understand. So the seven of pentacles with the two of wands, the ten of swords is in the upright in the recent past. And then it's here. So you were finished basically focusing so much on the future, which is good. Also, you're not as focused on things that hadn't worked out, which is great as well. You were being more patient. So I think the payoff there was because you didn't focus too much on how it was going to play out. You were just more focused on doing what you needed to and, and waiting. So the two of wands with the sun, we have justice in reverse. At times, we don't think things are going to balance out. So in this case, I do think that you will get justice in whatever situation you feel like you didn't and it will make you happy. But in the past, it didn't feel that way. So you could have been betrayed by somebody that you put a lot of energy into and you you thought that things were happy and then you realized that, nope, they just weren't balanced and they weren't going to balance out. So you ended that. That's another side story with that row. Okay, the Three of Cups with the Seven of Cups in reverse. We have the Magician 
good because the more open that you are and the happier that you are, the more you're celebrating your life, the more you can manifest. So your current energy is on. All right. I'm not confused anymore. I'm out of this hermit mode. Now I want to focus on the things that I want to manifest next. So the seven of cups in reverse with the 10 of swords in reverse, the 10 of cups is in reverse. So maybe it is that you want to create family and you just are at a point where it hasn't happened. For those of you that this is around difficulty and challenges in the family dynamic, again, you're working on manifesting a balance somewhere where there hasn't been. And at some point you will work through it. I don't think there's, this is saying that you're not happy. I just think you're seeking some kind of balance around that. And, or you want to create a happy marriage, a happy relationship for those of you that are interested in doing so and having children. The page of wands, or I'm sorry, swords with the page of cups in reverse, the five of cups in reverse. You realize that people who are not upfront and clear or immature in their energy aren't worth putting your energy into. You, you already know what the experience would be like. So your confidence, yes, again, it might draw, might draw certain people in, but I don't think you're going to deal with it. It's not going to be difficult for you to just kind of emotionally detach from those types of energies. So with the page of cups in reverse and the queen of wands, you have the emperor. I love this. It could it be another person. Absolutely. It could be someone who recognizes your value. Don't worry about the gender. And very powerful and strong. Now, this could also be a work situation. So you could have some cronies at work that are difficult to deal with. But the boss, the person in charge, is the one who sees you, sees your value, sees your worth. Um, also pays attention to, like, the little details of the things that you do is coming up. Now, if this isn't a relationship type of situation, there is somebody else that might be just a tad bit older that you meet that is truly in charge of their own life and also brings a lot of wisdom. I like that energy that's coming up because it feels like this person helps motivate, maybe just has a little bit more experience in life and helps bring some wisdom to the table for you. It's very exciting, but I think you feel very confident with this person, which is nice. There's, I don't feel any doubts around that energy. Same with the boss figure because it feels very connected like I trust that this person wants what's great for me wants what's best for me and is going to guide me in a nice way okay another side message so let's go over to your challenge with the ten of cups and the fool we have the nine of swords in reverse so the challenge is to get past worrying about this and it's hard not to when there's a disconnect of some sort in a family situation of course we're going to stress but I think when you're ready you're going to take whatever steps you need to take towards resolving it. Let's put it that way. All right, now let's get a little bit of advice for you. This is for Virgo. Advice moving forward. There's so many different scenarios in this reading that have unfolded. So we're, we're going to get the general advice. Ah, stay focused. Nine of Pentacles. Something great is coming in for you. She's just continuing to focus on building things in her life that make her happy. She's extremely happy. So this is a lot of uh, independent self-worth, building worth. Great. They're like, focus on that for now. The Four of Pentacles, hold things close. If you need to be a little bit more cautious with money this month, doesn't mean that anything's going to go wrong. I'm just going to say maybe you want to save a little bit more. Don't spend as much on Christmas for those of you that celebrate. And then we have the Hierophant in reverse. So the advice is to, yes, have your faith, but I want to say the message here is you can live both, meaning you can live very humanly and you can also live very spiritually, but finding balance between the two is going to be important in general in your life. It's so that you can function, right? Not all of us live in spirituality 24-7. We can't. We have to be human. So I think right now you're just trying to find the balance and also have faith. Continue to have faith that things are unfolding exactly the way that they're supposed to. Okay, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you would like a personal, as I said before, the information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. Hope you guys have a great mid-month and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.